Look at that one. I've got all this beautiful long tail here. Now, now, now. Oh, boy, he can struggle. He's really strong. Enormous muscle. Steady, steady. He'll stop his claw on the grass. Okay. Come on, stay down, stay down. Oh, jeez. This fellow is the tiger cat. They're found on the mainland. But down here in Tasmania, like many of the animals, which are the same, they're bigger and darker, steady, and furrier. This is because it's a colder, wetter climate down here, and they need that sort of thing to help them survive. You see those magnificent teeth, the long whiskers? These are true marsupials. They're, they're called a tiger cat, but they're a true marsupial. They eat birds, small mammals, and Around the areas where people are frequent, they're like chickens and ducklings and things like that. Don't ever try and catch it. Don't ever try and catch one. They're really tough. Come on, put yourself down. Come on. Now, now, now. Goodness gracious me. There you are. That's better. Now, I'll let this bloke go. Standing back as I do, because He'll probably turn around and have a bite at me if he doesn't just run off. He wants to run off. Now, now, there he is. You right, fella? Off you go. Whew. They are the strongest animals. They're not made of meat, I don't think. I think they're made of just whipcord and steel springs and whale bone and their enormous strong neck that they can crunch up their bones and that just swirls out under your hands. They're really hard. That's tiring. Are they marvelous things, that? Oh, they're beautiful. Another one running through the grass over there. Let's a look at pocket guys again. Ah, there's what I'm waiting for. A Tasmanian devil. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Now you know why they're called devils. That howl and that look. This is one fellow I don't really want to handle. They have enormously thick neck muscles. Enormously strong. Too much to get my hand around. If I tried to grab the, that animal, she'd have me. She's settled down a bit now, mostly. They're really, I suppose, a marsupial hyena. They eat carrion, dead animals. They'll kill small game, lizards and birds and things like that. Those jaws are powerful enough to shear through the leg bone of a kangaroo. And I think they would very happily shear through the arm bone of a butler. These used to be all across the southern part of the mainland, even into Western Australia, right across the Nullarbor. But I think probably the advent of the fox and the change of climate about 10,000 years ago, it made the continent of Australia a dry, arid land, and there just wasn't the food for these fellows. And the coming of the fox and the cat and white man put finish to this particular animal. It's very likely the last ones died out in southern mainland Australia since the white man first came here. But in Tasmania, where we don't have the fox, these uh, little fellows are still around to delight the naturalist and, in fact, to delight the Australian, because they are a beautiful animal, despite their rather ugly face. <laughs>